depth and pressure gauges uh, compass. Today we're out doing ice dive training. Yeah, it is. We're practicing for uh, any scenario where there'd be somebody who's fallen through the ice and we have to deploy divers to go get them. Ice dive's got a ton of challenges. Uh, the first being that there's a sheet of ice over the surface of the water and we can't just go to the surface and escape if we get into trouble. And they swim down into an atmosphere that's really cold. Um, water temperatures are just above freezing. Uh, visibility is super low. We can't see anything typically when we get under the water. We're, we're searching mostly by touch. Uh, we, we can't really see most of the time what we're searching for. In general, we feel around. Uh, we use kind of a search pattern to check the area and then go out a little bit, check the next area. Um, so in general, we're using our sense of touch more than our sense of sight just because of the low visibility with all of the muck that's in the water in Colorado. It's a real danger in Colorado because our, our ice doesn't stay frozen the entire entirety of the winter like it will in some other states. Uh, we have so many warm sunny days that we'll have a good sheet of ice one day and the very next day that sheet of ice will be unstable and somebody will fall through. So it's really hard to predict where our ice is going to be. We have to train and be ready for somebody falling in, whether it's a fisherman or somebody who thinks the ice is fine or a child. So the best advice we can give somebody is just to stay off the ice completely.